This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Nothing out of the ordinary down here. But I'll keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> this isn't what I expected. I didn't think escorting these cargo planes would be so boring. I was hoping for some action. Come on, it's not so bad. How often do you get to see something like this? We're probably better off not running into trouble. Besides, there's a new engine in it for one of us. But we only get one, right? So who'll be the lucky winner? We can discuss it later. Guys, he's here! Hang on! We'll be right there! This is what I've been waiting for! Boss, we got some gunners out there! Hmm, not to worry. Destroy the cargo plane's engines as planned. We'll retrieve the cargo from the sea. I'd like to see those gunners follow us there. I'll be awaiting good news. Bonter must be after the exhibits. I've got to protect that cargo. All right, can we protect the cargo? Let's find out. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar here with another episode of Sky Gunner. In the last episode, we found a new t uh, new fl uh, fighter or gunner, or whatever you call her, in Fong. Uh, but she was able to help the uh, resident locals help out with this uh, little incident here with the uh, with the display and everything like that, the exhibit. And now we're helping some cargos here. Now this one, you have uh, 15 planes to protect. So you have to be kind of on the up. You can lose a couple of them. The thing that happens is that you just lose out on um, <coughs> points if you uh, lose uh, lose a plane or two. I think it's like 50,000 points um, per, per plane shot down. So yeah. I gotta be careful not to, uh, <coughs> not to get too sidetracked. Because if I get too far away, you know, they'll shoot down the plane, so. I'm, I have done this with no, like, no plane losses before, but since I haven't played this in forever and I only did a bit of play testing, we'll see what, if I'll be able to uh, protect all the planes or not. Um, usually I end up losing one during most of my play tests, so we'll see what happens then. Yeah, you just kind of have to be kind of on the ball when uh, doing this, so. And the problem with the, <coughs> the lock-on system, it's that sometimes it takes you way too far away from your target, so the only bad thing is I'm gonna yeah. the only bad thing is sometimes the targets will take you like too far away from uh... right. so far so good uh oh okay, who's being attacked <coughs> oh, just a single unit, come on guys yeah, I'm trying to stay on the ball, but no, I'm gonna shoot these guys down Now, fortunately, the game won't tell you sometimes if a uh, if a a plane's about to go down until like the last second, and then they're and then they're done. So, <clears throat> yeah, I always switch to new targets so you can uh, kind of be aware. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna use my fireworks on every single target. Fireworks are really useful, but they are really only useful against um, small uh, small targets like these guys. They're not useful against. Ah, they destroyed one. You can tell because the number disappeared, so yeah, they got one. Oh well. I was hoping not to lose any, but no. I, I, I think actually FOM is probably one of the easier ones to do this with, now that I think about it. Yeah, get back over there. Probably got destroyed by the time I get there. Well, I hope I don't lose any more. Oh, I'm out of uh, I'm out of fireworks. Dang it! Yeah, none of these guys seem to be dropping fireworks. 
maybe we'll get lucky and I only lose the one. Like I said, that's like 50,000 points, so... I mean, you could beat the game with, like, having very low points. You just get bonuses if you do really well. Like I said, in this fight, you get a new engine if you, uh, if you, uh, do the best. Yeah, if you're playing as Copan, you do have to do that. That's your sole mission is to take on those uh, uh, military pods, so or missile pods, I mean. I want to switch to my. Yeah, let's let's show off the cross ability. So what the cross does is it it uh, charges it into an enemy, and then uh, then you have to hit the uh, hit the um, hit it, and it'll explode and do like a ton of damage. Like it's really useful against single targets. You just have to make sure to hit it. It'll do some minor damage before you roll into it, but you have to hit it to activate its like spin ability or whatever you want to call it. Okay, lock on. I can't get to lock on. That's annoying. Uh-oh. I guess I never showed off the... Uh, um, Show them who's boss. We sure do. Yeah, but I don't like all this waiting around. You're right. Maybe we should take the fight to long term. Hey, you're my kind of gal. The Grand Lighthouse. Vaunter's bound to come. He must know that the cargo planes pass by here. It's also a refueling station. Seems like a good place to attack. Man, I didn't think you guys were serious about setting a trap. Huh? What's that? They look between those clouds. Listen up. Commence the attack once the cargo ships have started to refuel. And make sure you take care of those annoying gunners. Um, boss, speaking of gunners... What? They're here? No. Oh, no matter. I will crush them with the Grandier. I'm sure they'll attack the engine. It's the ship's only weakness. If you have to, shield it with your puny little bodies. Bugger! Bugger! Let's go, guys! Wait, how about this? The one who earns the most money here gets the new engine. Fine by me. How about you, Sue? All right, but don't come crying to me when you lose. All right, can we win the engine? Let's find out. I've won it before, but yeah, it depends on who wins the most prize money, um, which I'm behind. So we shall see what happens. So. Now, one of the ways to get early points is to basically do what you usually do and uh, take out fighters and stuff like that, because that's a way to get some money and obviously not get knocked out. If you get knocked out, you lose a ton of money, uh, which knocking out is when you when you're about to nosedive into the floor. So. Might be able to do it with a couple. And obviously helping destroy any targets obviously helps with that. So and getting hit unfortunately does you know does get damage done to me, so actually let me see if I can find any more dudes. Like I said, this gets you this can get you a good ton of points. 
which that's usually a bomb's claim to fame is usually for taking out small targets like that. So. Oops. Oh, right. I'm gonna. I used to me. I was trying to do. I, I was too. I was trying to do my turn. I was like, oh right, I uh, I uh, do too many side abilities back to back, so I really shouldn't have focused on that one guy specifically. Yeah, I shouldn't even be focusing on this guy anymore. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing that. That's a really bad idea. Let's see if we can take out this guy. This guy gives quite a few points. So right now you can tell who's ahead by. Um, um, Uh, by the scorecard right there, ranking. So CL t or CL is t currently in the lead. Um, so unfortunately, it means he's taking out more targets and everything with that. So let's see if we can. You now I said I've won this before, but it is easier to do as CL than it is to do with like Fom or Cop actually Copan's kind of hard to play as actually. And really, the game doesn't, or the, ba the ma mission doesn't end until the um, until the uh, uh, main ship is taken down. There's a way to get an extra reward too. Um, all right, I'm not. You have to destroy a specific target when we get to it. No, that's too far away. Yeah, you keep taking me to like these way far off targets, King. Okay. Okay, let's uh, speed on into it. Man, I've got like no. Like I say, look at how much damage the cross does. It's ridiculous. You've been lucky so far, but you won't stand a chance this time around. On these clouds, good. Yikes! What the? <laughs> How long can you last against these wing bombs powered by my lightning generator? So all I need to do is take this. What? <laughs> Your weapons are useless against my lightning generator. But be my guest. I like my gunners. Well done. <laughs> All right, so we need help. Uh, just now, you actually don't have to take out the lightning generator. You get extra points if you do, though. And yeah, you have to be careful about the uh, wing bombers while you're doing all this. So. I can't remember to keep using astral spin more often. That's how, like, that's how you're supposed to be able to like get a lot of points with with bomb is by doing that. Now what you have to do to destroy the generators, you have to let's see, show it off. You have to destroy like these uh, cannon things right here to unlock it basically. Is, or I guess cannon's not really the best example. You kinda have to lock it out, sorry. I'm uh, not explaining that very well. I see L, uh, CL is going to win this thing. Oh, impossible. All right, now we're done with that. So, Oop. dang, keep getting hit by those bombs. Ow. Yeah, I lost some money from that. So, yeah, that's what happens when you get taken out. Like, at the early parts of the game, it's fine if you get hit a few times like that. But if you keep doing it in a mission over and over and over again, you eventually... Um, yeah, this is a way to destroy the cannons. You have to destroy these little cannons. There's a chain reaction that does a lot of damage to that. But now that that thing's gone, we can now focus on um, the engines. So, those wing bombs still pop up every once in a while. Yeah, I think I think I'm too far behind in terms of my money to be able to catch CL. Yeah, they're on the 
defensive now. Probably should finish up here pretty soon because, like I said, Upless ICL is a uh, or Kapan is now uh, taking the lead. He's destroyed more targets and yeah, I'm out of crosses unfortunately. You can't really do much, and do really the dog mini uh, mini weapon doesn't really help. It's really meant to do against fighters because it slows them down. Is what their thing is. It'll do like a little bit of damage, but. The problem is the longer the, the battle goes, the the uh, more points that the, the others can get on you soon. I forget how like how how long like, how long it takes for the uh, like how many of these guys. I think they just keep coming and coming and coming no matter what you do. So like I said, it's a way to get more points, but. Focus on the. Where is it? There it is. Where's the other? Nope. Don't take my kills, Kapan or or CL. I can't really tell. Sometimes the fights are so like chaotic. I can't really tell what's going on. They got the points for that. Oh well. All right, let's finish off these engines. These are. I'm not gonna win this thing. So. Seal just doesn't have the firepower for it. get the engine oh well <laughs> unfortunately that doesn't really help us out man i made like no money look at that 149,000 out of like 471,000 yeah it's kind of insane right how much more money they can make than me because copan let's see it's because you know, cl has a really cool ability the heavy machine gunner and then just copan's just machine it, the he, he has difficulty in terms of maneuverability is the way he works but he has a ton of firepower so it's easier for him to get first place out of all of us most times you play but it's harder to play as him when you actually play as him so oh well yeah see i lost some points for uh, that but the cargo plane got shot down so we lost some money for that so or points i mean Right, what did our total points get? Yeah, lost points because we used so many mini weapons. So. Of course. I'm actually pretty close in overall money to CL, just not a Kapan. Look at that, man, that's crazy. But oh well, well either way, we worked together to defeat defeat Vonter again to save most of the cargo planes and destroyed his lightning generator. But what does Vonter have planned for us next? Any more competitions? Find out next time in the next episode of Sky Gunner. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.